Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to talk about the Cobra Kai 5th season because I've watched it all in one day. Yeah, to be honest, I regret nothing because my god this season was amazing. Oh! However, I am going to be going in spoilers so I would click off this video now. I'll give you a couple of seconds. Okay, that should do it. Wow, okay, holy hell. Ha! Ah! Okay, let's start the season off where it started, with Miguel going to look for his father in Mexico. Eventually he found him. Didn't quite turn out what he'd hoped to be, as Carmen kind of warned him. So, yeah, but I suppose really, he did have to go see for himself, which he did, and Sammy regretted it, really. Like, no, actually, he fully regretted it. But when um, Johnny showed up to come and get him back to the States... Robbie was with him. And as we know from season two, well, no, actually the entire show, uh, they've never exactly been the best of friends. However, that changed this season. Not long after they got back, um, Johnny basically got them to have, well, a fight just to get all the hate out of their system. And it worked. They beat the hell out of each other. And they're now friends. Crazy how stuff like that works sometimes, huh? But yeah, it worked. <coughs> It'll do. I'll take it. Because um, they are now, frankly, really good friends. And it is an amazing friendship to see. Oh my god. Um, and then we also have the friendship, semi-friendship, between Tori and Sam. Which I did not see coming. Like, I found that a bit more unlikely to happen than Robbie and Miguel. Boy, was I wrong. Like, really, 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 really wrong. Because um, in the final episode, they did kind of make up, but I think that's going to be more work done in season six. <coughs> um, of course, we saw John Kreese in prison throughout this season, and we do find out that um, Tori has been feeding Daniel LaRusso information from Kreese. With, with, well, with Crease's help, because she's been kind of a double agent throughout the season, knowing that, you know, Silva bribed the referee at the end of season four, which eventually she does expose. And, well, I'm going to kind of skip ahead to the last episode here, because uh, this is where stuff went down. Because <coughs> in the first episode, we saw the return of the one and only Mike Barnes. And... And halfway through the season, when Amanda kind of left Daniel, we saw Daniel's girlfriend from Karate Kid 3, who kind of basically told Amanda, yeah, Daniel isn't being paranoid. Terry Silver is as bad as Daniel says he is. And Mike Barnes can kind of confirm that, because his furniture store, which he had at the beginning of the series, was burned to the ground by Terry. Or one of his goons, which, frankly, I do think is the more likely option. But yeah, by the end of the season, um, Mike kind of kidnapped Johnny, Chosen, and Daniel. Um, but he also had an idea. Basically, let's go and kill Terry. That was the plan. Daniel said, no way in hell. But Mike, but Mike Johnny, and Chosen said, you know what? Let's go. Let's do it. We have to end this guy. And unfortunately for them, it didn't quite work out that way. Kind of. Um, all three of them got severely injured well. Mike just got knocked out pretty much straight away. Which was kind of embarrassing. Uh, Johnny very much nearly died. And um, Chosen got sliced up the back by um, one of Terry's swords. So, <clears throat> yeah. Those two really didn't come off well in this fight. But they're alive. Thank God, because Johnny and Carmen are pregnant, which made me very emotional. I was thinking, oh my God, finally, yes, thank God. But we have to talk about the final fight in the new Cobra Kai dojo and in Terry Silver's house. Wow, was that amazing? Oh my good God. That has kind of beaten out all the other end of season fights from all the other seasons. Jesus, 
this fight was on another level. With them um, having to protect Anthony while the YouTube video of um, um, Terry revealing that he did indeed bribe the referee got uploaded to the Cobra Kai YouTube channel. Ouch. <laughs> um, and yeah, I... Um, I really like that fight. Again, and, and considering the double, the double fight really, because there was two fights: the the Terry Silver's fight, <coughs> the Terry Silver House fight, and the Cobra Kai fight, and the final, final fight as well. I have to discuss this: the Daniel versus Terry fight. And what did Daniel do? He used the Quick Silver method against the man who made it. For those of you who don't know. He, it's a three-step thing. A man can't stand. He can't fight, so Daniel pretty much kicked him in the back of the knee, which knocked him down. A man can't breathe. He can't fight. Punched him right between the ribs. Winded him. And a man can't see. He can't fight. And the way he executed that part made me scream. Because Daniel... Did the crane kick once again for I don't know how many years for the first time in don't know how many years he finally did the crane kick once again and finished Terry Silver off got him sent to prison God help him trying to get out of that by the way I think Terry Silver is done for good but John 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 Crease he's been in prison all season and he escaped. So I don't know what he's going to do, but from what I can see now, Cobra Kai is truly finished forever because, well, everyone abandoned him. Once they saw that, yeah, he cheated, everyone said, okay, screw you, Silver, and chucked all their Cobra Kai gear at him while he was still on the ground, almost as good as dead. Um, so I think that's Terry Silver done for good. Cobra Kai probably done for good because... Crease would frankly be an idiot to try and revive that thing again. But yeah, that was frankly the best season of the show yet. But what will they do in season six? There's no one really left now to fight unless Crease does something unimaginably stupid and brings back Cobra Kai again. Although saying that, who would he have to do it with? Silver's in prison. All the Cobra Kai students have abandoned him. Well, abandoned Cobra Kai. Like, there's no one left. So, I don't know what's going to happen next season. I do not have a clue. Anyway, guys. That will do it for this video on Cobra Kai Season 5. So, please, like this video. Sub to my Noxans and Frost's channel. So there are links in the description, of course. My sub button down there. Yeah, that big red one. Unless you've already subbed, then it's grey. Thank you for that, by the way. And once you've done that, please don't forget to click all three of our bell icons to get all three sets of our notifications. Comment as well, because why the heck not? And let me know what you thought of the season of Cobra Kai Season 5. Yeah, what I said just makes sense. Shush. <laughs> yeah, let me know what you think of this season of Cobra Kai. There we go. The fifth season. That's better. Um, once you've done that too, please... Follow me on all the social medias. There'll be in the link tree in the description. I will be going live on Stereo tomorrow um, at 6pm UK time. And once you're in the description, please check out Roxanne's website and Frost's Instagram as well. And lastly, please share this video with all of your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing. And around and around and around that loop. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a very, very packed Astcar news. Tomorrow, goodbye!